Hey guys, welcome back. It's your coach, Sheria Adeleke. And right in this video, I'll be showing you how to build your own e-commerce business. Yes, how to set up and build your own profitable mega e-commerce business. All right? Are you ready? Okay. Let's start. We have a whole lot of things to cover. How to build your own e-commerce business i'm very sure that you know the meaning of e-commerce i don't need to actually explain that again e-commerce means electronic commerce you know as it's e electronic commerce so it's actually the act of buying and selling over the internet okay transaction conducted over the internet that is the meaning of e-commerce okay you can also go to google and uh, check it out i think that's actually very very basic and i don't need to spend time on that can you see e-commerce also known as electronic commerce or internet commerce refers to the buying and selling of goods or services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to execute this transaction all right good now e-commerce is a very profitable business this is something I do myself, and I've been running this, this business for the past seven years now, okay? And uh, every single day, we get sales, all right? And I'm, and I'm going to be showing you to the step-by-step -step procedure how to go about the whole thing. The beauty of e-commerce is that you buy goods at a very, very cheap price. You, you actually import goods from China at a very, very cheap price. Some of these goods goes for 0.5 one dollar one point five dollar and then when you actually import this down to nigeria you can actually sell it for ten thousand naira twelve five this is twelve five not dollar twelve five fifteen thousand naira twenty five thousand naira okay this this naturally sound ridiculous and uh, absurd to you like just imagine buying the product of 0 0.5 dollar if you convert 0 0.5 to Nigeria currency let's check it out uh, 450 right now this is the current exchange rate then 0 0.5 that's 225 naira and then uh, when you actually calculate it with the cost of shipping it might cost you like a 500 naira or 600 naira Per piece. Now, just imagine you selling that same product for ten thousand naira. Okay, and if it's actually a one dollar product, that's four fifty, and you can sell it for ten thousand naira, fifteen thousand naira, twenty thousand naira, depending on the product itself. Okay. If you don't believe this, then you can actually pause this video and stop watching right now. Okay, because this is the same thing I'm doing and I'm showing you exactly the same thing. And I'm going to be showing you everything right in this video. Okay, but if this doesn't sound weird to you, please pause the video and just quit. All right. Now, the major thing that you need when it comes to e-commerce, the three things that you need, three things you need to know or that you need to do to do uh the fourth thing is product sourcing. Product sourcing. The second thing is importing. And the last thing is selling. Okay. Now for this product sourcing, it includes where to get the product. Yes. You want to buy a product, you have your money with you, but at the same time too, where can you get this product? Where can you buy this product at a very, very cheap price? So where to get the product? That's the first thing. Also, alt products, or you call them breakthrough products, because not all products sell. So you have to actually know the alt product nature, the category. Okay, so you have to focus on, on a niche, discover the alt niche that is selling currently, and import products in that niche and start selling. Okay, so that's for product sourcing and importing now. You import the product down to Nigeria. You ship the product down to Nigeria. Ship the product using logistic company. 
okay and selling now promotion you promote the product using ads okay and also you deliver the product deliver the product to the customers all right so these are the three things that we'll be discussing about these are the three things that you need to do when it comes to e-commerce so let's start with the product sourcing now there are a lot of platforms where you can actually buy product at a very very cheap price we have aliexpress so you can check out the website aliexpress.com we have www.1688.com we have um, alibaba alibaba.com we have dhgate dhgate.com okay but the popular one is actually alibaba and 1688 okay so let's check out the site www.aliexpress.com aliexpress.com why this is loading let's check out 1688 www.1688.com okay and this is aliexpress right now the page is still loading they have a lot of products a lot and a lot of products in different categories this is women's version you can see underwear accessory weddings and events swimwear women's version they have men's versions too outerwear and jacket accessory underwear they have phone and telecommunication computers consumer electronics cameras phone home audio smart electronics they have jewelry and watch home pets bags and shoes toy kids beauty pets and automobile home improvements a lot of products that you can actually buy on this platform at a very very cheap price okay and they also on 1688 this is 1688 this is the website they also have a lot of products that you can actually buy on this platform all right but the only issue is that this is a chinese store okay this is a chinese Porter. it's not actually designed for nigerians okay and that's why this is not written in english but at the same time too there is a way forward which i'm going to be showing you how you can easily buy goods from this platform okay without having to learn any any other language again okay now let's get started if you want to buy on aliexpress now for instance so all you have to do is just to come to www.aliexpress.com this is the url again okay and then you'll be taken here then right in this box you search the name of the product you want to buy okay so for instance now if you want to buy uh, jewelry you search it here if you want to buy wristwatch you search it here if you want to buy cascana you search it out here okay right in this box i believe you can see it now okay so let me search out for one product cascana then you click on this search button here this search icon here okay then it will pull out the result for you you can see we have a lot and lot of cars kind of products you can see up to 60 pages this is just page one okay and uh, in order for you to get i think we have about 12,401 411 results just for cars can kind of alone that is to tell you that we have a lot of suppliers serving on this product okay all this belongs to different suppliers not just one person okay we have thousands and even millions of people selling different products on aliexpress okay so now if you notice the price is not in order this is 2.79 this is ten dollar fourteen dollars eighteen dollars and the likes okay but as a businessman or as a businesswoman what we need is that we need to get this product at a very very cheap price okay we are here to make money and if you remember in the first video I told you that a genuine a true online business has to be profitable and that is what we want to practice out right here okay we want to import this product and resell so that means we have to get it at a very very cheap price so now how do we sort this price all you have to do is to click on this price arrow pointing down can you see it so just press on it once and that will help you to sort out the price oh great great so the price is now in ascending order okay this is 0 0.16 this is 0 0.27 to 2.52 
this is 0 0.33 to 3.9 okay this is 0 0.37 to 4.29 this is 0 0.39 to 2.39 depending on the quantity okay and also if you notice you will actually realize that we have different models different type of car scanner this is one this is another one this is another one again think this is another one again so you have to decide on the exact one you want okay if you are going for this now it's about 0 0.33 to 3.99 if you are buying let's say 100 pieces now the price might be would be around this range okay if you are buying just one pieces then actually the price will be like 3.99 dollars per piece if you are buying one piece here the price will be like 2.39 if you are buying 50 pieces you pay actually maybe half of this okay or the average price rather all right now and the good thing is also that you can negotiate price with each seller you know all these products are being sold by different seller and everybody wants to sell faster so you can open this tab negotiate price with this seller open this 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 uh, tab too and negotiate price with the seller open this one too and negotiate price with the seller okay and you can see this is very very cheap this is very very cheap if you are buying one piece of this now it will be like 3.99 if you convert that to naira that should be around 1000 plus let's check it out maybe like 15 3.99 multiply by 450 that's 1795 naira let's say 18 so that means you're going to pay 1800 naira if you are buying just one piece of this okay that's very cheap because this is something you can sell for 15,000 naira, 10,000 naira, 12,000 naira when you bring it down to Nigeria. And also, too, you are not buying one piece, you'll be buying like 10 pieces, 50 pieces, 100 pieces. So that means you won't even pay up to this. You'll pay the average price. Okay? And then you also get discounts when you discuss with the seller. If, but the truth is that even though the price here is very, very cheap, price on 1688 is actually more cheaper than this. Okay? If you want to buy the same goods on 1688, you pay lesser price. All right, let me show you. So let's go to 1688. Okay, this is 1688 now. Now, if you want to search for car scanner, all you have to do is first to go to Google. Okay, so go to Google. You know, if you search for car scanner here, you might not get desired results. You might get results, but the search will be limited. Okay, so we have to convert the tests into what this store, what this platform we actually understand. Okay, because most of them are not listing their product in English, and we have to convert the search test too. Okay, so right here in Google, all you have to say is just to say English to Mandarin. That's the language that is speak in China. Okay. You say English to Chinese, it's, it depends. Okay, now and you search, you enter the test here, the name of the product you want to buy. If the product is a car scanner, you search it out here. If the product is a stretch mark cream, you input it here. Okay, so that it will be able to, the, so that Google will translate it to Chinese or to Mandarin. Okay, so car scanner now, you enter it here, car scanner. Okay, so it has been translated. And this is what you copy copy it and search it out here okay this is what you input here instead of entering car scanner here instead of entering car scanner here you just paste what you copy this test that you copied you paste it here and click on search it is a search icon search i think this is very very simple and this shouldn't give you any form of headache you can try to watch the video again if you, if you don't understand okay so this is the result of the search now and remember that on aliexpress the price is uh, about 1008 when we converted it to naira so right here now this price is 11.97 yuan okay you know um their own currency is yuan 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 okay not dollar okay the currency here is yuan so this is it yuan so this is 11.97 yuan let's see if we see another product if we see the same product cheaper okay good this is another one 11.50 yuan 
let's see, check if we're going to see that same product at a cheaper rate again. This is wow, this is 10 yuan. This is even cheaper. 10 yuan. Okay. If you click on next, you will see more products as well, too. Okay. 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 Now, so far, this is the cheapest 10 yuan. Okay. And uh, it says if you are buying two pieces to 499 piece, that's 14.8 yuan. If you are buying 599 pieces, that's 13.8 yuan. Okay. So that means indirectly, the price for this, where is it? The price for this is like 14.8 yuan, which is still cheaper. So for this, this is 11.5 yuan, and there is no condition for this. There is no condition like uh, telling you if you buy 50 pieces, if you buy something pieces. So, so far, this is still the cheapest, 11.5 yuan. Now, how do you convert this yuan to Naira? It's quite simple. You go to Google again, and you search out yuan to Naira. So to do the conversion, this is how much this is 11.5 yuan then you input it here 11.5 yuan and if you convert to naira you can see this is 631 naira wow that this is crazy this is far far cheaper than the price we saw on aliexpress the price on aliexpress is 1800 naira and on 1688 we are getting the same product for 631 naira let's say 650 naira Okay, 650 naira times three. Okay, that means we are getting it about two times, if I'm more than two times cheaper than what we are getting on, on AliExpress. And this is more profit for us. So that means since the price on AliExpress is a 1,800 naira, if I want to buy 100 pieces of this, I have to spend 180,000 naira for 100 pieces. Okay. But for this one now, let's say 650 times 100 pieces. I'm spending just 65,000 Naira. Now, let's check the difference. That is 115,000 Naira. That means I'm saving myself 115,000 Naira. And I'm getting the same product. That is more profit for me. So there is no magic in all this. Okay, so definitely I'm gonna buy from this person. I'm gonna buy on 1688. Okay, so now how do I buy this? All you have to do is just to click on it once. The page is still loading. Okay, good. Now after clicking on this icon here, on this tab here, we actually will we direct it to the main page. Okay, and there's a main page. Okay, and now all we have to do is just to copy this link here. Just have to copy the link of this product. Do you understand? You click on this once, any product that you want to buy on 1688. After you've made the price comparison, you click on it once and you'll be directed to the full page like this where you can actually place the order. Okay, but you don't need to stress yourself placing the order. Okay. There is a procurement agent that will actually go through the stress for you. All you have to do is just to copy this link and send to the agent, which I'll be telling you about shortly. Okay, so just copy this link now and uh, paste it out somewhere. It could be on your system or, or you save it somewhere on your phone. So this is the link now. And uh, if I copy this link and type it on my browser, it will take me to this page. Okay. And uh, that is exactly what we need. All right. Now, nothing more. You've done your part now and you are through with 1688. We expect you of the products you want to buy on 1688. Go to 1688.com. Then once you get there, go to Google and uh, type English to Mandarin or Chinese. Then input the product name here, Stretch Mark Cream. Stretch mark cream. So that, then I said, you copy this test, and that is what you paste on 
1688 in the search box here and it will pull out the result for you then you actually try to compare the price for the product and check for the cheapest one then you click on the cheapest one and it will bring you to a page like this then i said you copy the link the link is always at the top of the browser you just copy it out okay good i believe by now you should know how to go about it so once you copy the link the next thing you have to do is to contact your procurement agent okay procurement agent now these agents are actually in china in fact they are chinese people okay you know this portal is not for nigeria it's actually for chinese this is a chinese portal so we have to go through a chinese to help us to buy these products on this portal okay and the uh, since they're actually Chinese people, they will be able to communicate with the seller and help us to negotiate the price. All right, so the procurement agent actually uses NBC, NBC, NBC Sky Logistic. Okay, so this logistic company, they help me to undo my shipping. And also, okay, let me start with this. They help me to procure goods, that means to buy the goods, on sustainability hit and also help me to ship the goods down to Nigeria. So right now our focus is on procurement. When I get to the uh, shipping part, I will explain to you how I use them to ship my product down to Nigeria. So right now let's focus on procurement. So right now all you have to do is to contact them on WhatsApp and send the, this link to them. Okay. And the good thing again is that they have a Nigeria account, they have a Naira bank account. So they will help you to check out these goods, negotiate with the supplier, and help you to convert it to Naira and tell you and give you the accounts to pay to in Naira. So that means if you are actually ordering for 10 pieces of this product now, they will check out the price for you and get back to you and tell you that 10 pieces will cost so so a month, let's say 5,000 Naira for 10 pieces, and you pay to their Naira account. Okay, so let me now give you the number to contact. This is my secret logistic company. So, and uh, they actually will be liable for now. Okay, you can also make your research. But I've been using them now for over three to four years and they are doing wonderfully well. So, this is the number to contact. Okay, this is this number is actually on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, All right? Okay. And the name is uh, Sonin. So just add up this number on WhatsApp. And uh, once you've added this number, all you have to do is just to tell the lady that uh, I would like to buy, I would like to buy maybe 10 pieces or 200 pieces, 10 pieces of uh, Cascana. Cascana. See the link below. I can even say kindly up to. And you have to negotiate with the supplier. See the link below. Then you paste the link you copied on. You copied from 1688. Okay. The link of the product that you copied from 1688, 1688, you actually paste it here. Okay. And then once you've dropped the message, she responds to your message and tell you that she will help you to check out the price and uh, send the price list to you. Okay, and also she will give you the account details to pay to. So you pay to their NARA account and you send a screenshot to her. So once the payment is confirmed, she will help you to procure the goods on 16 hits. And the, once the goods arrived, then she will tell you that the goods have actually arrived. Now, after then, the next thing for you to do is to ship the product down to Nigeria. When we get to that point, I will explain to you. Okay, but for now, I think you should understand what I mean by product sourcing, where to get the products. Okay, so now let's talk about the art product niche. There's another interesting part. Okay. Okay, art product niche. And also, we also have an um, art product criteria. Criteria. Okay, let's start with this. Art product criteria. 
you know the reason why a lot of people fail with their e-commerce business is because they import the wrong products and uh, there is no way to do it if you import the wrong product you struggle to make sales because people won't be interested in buying your product because it is not what people want to buy and no and nobody's ready to waste his money so if you import the wrong products you won't make a sales okay so that's why you have to listen attentively and then pay close attention to this so you won't make the same mistakes others are making in e-commerce business right now alt product criteria before you import any product before you click on that buy button you have to ensure that the product you want to import is not a seasonal product okay non-seasonal product okay because if you import seasonal product, then it is only that period of time, that season, that you can actually sell that product. Okay, let's imagine, let's let's say you actually import some uh, Christmas gifts now, some Christmas box, some Christmas clothes. It is only that period of time that you can actually sell that kind of product. After that, eh, nobody will buy from you again. So that means you have to wait till the next season again. And with that, you are not really doing business. Okay? So that, that's the first thing, non-seasonal products. The second thing is that any product you want to import must solve a particular problem. Okay, don't just import product for importing sake. You have to think about it. What problem does this product solve? Okay, like for instance now, if you are importing a stretch mark product, you know for sure this is going to help to remove stretch mark. If you are importing a weight loss product, this is going to help people to actually lose weight and burn fats. If you are importing a car scanner now, this product will help people to scan the problem of their car, to help them to diagonize their car. So you have to import a product that solves a particular problem. Teeth whitening, for instance, now will help people to whiten their teeth. So any product that you import that doesn't solve a particular problem, where well, it's going to be an issue because you struggle to make sales. And that criteria you have to check is uh, the product has to be a lightweight product. Okay, it must not be an heavy product simply because of the shipping. The logistic company will charge you based on the weight of the goods. So if, you, if your product is too heavy, then that means you pay more, more uh, fee for shipping. The shipping cost will be very, very high. So any product you want to import should not be more than one kg. Okay. Less than or equals to one kg. All right. So it has to be less than or equals to one kg. So don't import product that is actually bigger than one kg because at the end of the day, you might not make profit because the whole money will go into the shipping. All right. Now you have to actually don't import product that is more than $5. $5. Don't import products. Okay, don't import products, products more than five dollars. Okay, any product you want to import must be within maybe zero point one to five dollars. In fact, most of the product I import goes for zero point one to like two dollars, three dollars. It is only once in a while that I import product like four dollars, five dollars. Okay. So don't import product that is more than this, so you can have a huge profit margin. And uh, another one is that any product you want to import must have a huge profit margin. Okay, for instance, now if I import the product of one dollar, how much do I want to sell it? You do your calculation. Okay, I should be able to sell this product for let's say ten thousand or at least. Okay. So you have to import products with high profit margin. Product you can import for two dollars and sell for twenty thousand naira. So and like that, don't import product that you that you buy for one dollars or three dollars and you end up selling them for three thousand, four thousand. 
and the profit margin is very small okay also to any product you want to import must be product that people cannot get locally okay add to find products add to find products locally now the reason why you're importing that product is because people cannot actually see it right here in nigeria except they buy it online so ensure the product you want to buy is not a saturated product it's not a product that is actually common in nigeria already because if you actually import that kind of product then nobody will buy from you soon they can actually see it in a nearby store in a supermarket then why do i have to go online again and buy so ensure the product is not a common product it is actually hard to buy product all right i'm very sure you're actually clear on this okay now let's go to the next one hot product niche we have a hot niche that you should actually focus on especially as a newbie if you're just starting out e-commerce then these are the niche that i actually recommend that you focus on we have a beauty niche we have an ethnic, we have a um, car accessory, accessories niche, okay, we have a kitchen intensive, oh, kitchen intensive niche, okay, and also we have a security product, okay, are you say security niche? So these are the five niches that I actually recommend that you focus on. For this beauty niche now, you can actually import product like uh, stretch mark products, stretch marks cream, stretch mark oil, etc. You can import product like um, eye bag, cream or oil or anything. Okay, you can import product like um, anti wrinkles etc and for ethnic you can import products like a uh, blood prayer solution i blood prayer patch edc okay you can import product that solves uh, or that help to treat diabetics so diabetics product we have a vibrant etc so we have a whole lot of products under that niche and also for car accessories we have a car scanner we have um we have car scanner we have um another product called what's the name of this product car scratch remover okay we have another product again there is another products car headlight cleansers okay etc and also for kitchen utensils we have a lot of kitchen intensive that you can actually import we have mini oven we have a product like they, they can actually use to bake and also Product they can use to toast bread and if a few other products like that that falls on that kitchen intensive and also we have a um, security niche you can actually import spy pen you can import um, cameras etc okay now those are the niches i actually recommend that you focus on so any product you want to import ensure the falls into this niche okay so you can get quick results all right now that's that about product sourcing we've explained where to get the product we've explained what product niche we've explained the criteria as well and i believe right now you should understand the whole thing okay now the next thing we like to talk about is importing importing how to import the products down to nigeria okay how you can actually import the product down to nigeria now let's assume you want to but you've actually purchased car scanner 
on 1688. You've paid the logistic company, they've actually gotten the product for you. And right now, it is in their office in China, and they've contacted you. Mr. John Doe, Mr. Tunji, your product is now in our office. Now, the next thing you need to do is to import the product down to Nigeria. Okay, so you have to import the product down to Nigeria, and then uh, you need to use a logistic company. You, you don't really have to go to China, no. You don't have to go to China to import the products. So all you have to do is just to make use of a logistic company. They will help you to actually import the product down to Nigeria. And uh, once the product gets to Nigeria, their staff in Lagos will contact you to notify you that Mr. Tuji, your goods have actually arrived. And uh, you can go there to pick it up or tell, it, or tell them to send it to you via commercial bus. Okay, and they will send the goods down to you okay and when we talk about shipping we have express shipping we have express shipping we have a cargo shipping okay i think right now express shipping is not available due to this coronavirus issue so it is not available but normally express shipping takes 24 to 48 hours Meaning, once they help you to buy your goods and it has arrived in their office, if you tell them to use Express Shipping to send your goods, within 48 hours, you should get the goods in Lagos. Okay, the goods should arrive in Lagos. And for cargo, normally takes about, I think, around 14 days for cargo shipping. You can see. So it depends on you. You can actually choose any one that you prefer. And also, the price varies. The price very I think right now for cargo shipping they're charging about ten dollars, but the price is not stable now due to this pandemic. Okay. So but it's always around I think before it was around five point five dollars, but right now it's about ten dollars and sometimes they will tell you twelve dollars, sometimes eleven dollars. And before express shipping was around eight dollars. Okay, but right now the last time I chatted with my logistic company, they said it's not available. Okay, until flight resume and everything becomes normal. So, okay, so probably by the time you'll be watching this video, maybe everything will have become normal. We pray. <laughs> okay, now the logistic company you are to use is TMBC. I already told you about MBC when we're talking about uh, product procurement. MBC is Sky Logistic. Okay, and uh, let me get the number to contacts. All right, now there's a number to contacts. This is the WhatsApp number, and the name is Dene. Okay, this is the boss. So just add him up on WhatsApp and tell him you are from Mr. Sheyi and uh, you would like to actually use their company to send your goods down to Nigeria. Okay, so ask him for the latest price. What's the price and the duration? How long will I get the goods? So he will send a message to you containing the price. All right. And uh, since you already use MBC Logistics to procure your goods, to buy your goods on sustainability heat, then definitely the goods will be in their office already. You know, I gave you a WhatsApp number earlier. That's Sony. So, and the Sony is working with MBC. Okay. So, since you use Sony to actually purchase the goods, then the goods will be in their office. So, just chat up with Daniel and tell him you want to send your goods to Nigeria and uh, ask him for the price, maybe Express or Cargo. Ask him if Express is actually available and uh, how you get it and everything. So, then that becomes very easy. Once you conclude with him, he will help you to send the goods down to Nigeria. And the good thing is that you don't even need to pay ahead. Yes, you don't need to pay anything until the goods get to Nigeria, until you see the goods with your Koro Koro eyes. Yes, for those that are, that are always scared of all this online business. Okay, so you will send the goods to Nigeria. Once the goods get to Nigeria, they will notify you, all right, and tell you to come and pick it up. If you are not in Lagos, like myself too, I'm not in Lagos. So what I normally do is tell them to send the goods to, to my place, Ibadan, and I'll actually pick it up. 
or drive down to Lagos myself once in a while, all right? So it depends on you. So the whole thing becomes very, very easy. Now, the next thing I'll be talking about is selling. Now that you've actually imported your product, you've procured the goods, you've imported your product, and now the product is in your office, you need to sell your goods. That's the main thing. That's the way really, that's how to get money. That's how to make the business profitable because if you don't sell the goods, there is no way to make back your money. Not to talk of making profits. All right. But I think this video is getting too long. I'll have to actually record this, this selling part in the next video. All right. And I hope you actually enjoyed this video, this particular module. So ensure you drop your comments. All right. Drop your comments so I will know if, you are, if I'm making sense to you or not. And I also know how best to help you. But at least in this video, if you patiently watch, you should be able to know the meaning of product sourcing, where to buy the product from, what product niche and criteria, and also how to import the products using logistic company. All right, you should be able to do this by now. You can pause the video and watch over and over again. You know, this is very, very basic. This is very, very basic. So, you know, I'm not using those grammars and terms that will actually convince you. I'm trying to break down everything. All right. So ensure you drop your comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.